Hello, in this loosening sequence we're going to do just a short series of three movements that really help us to drop into our body, help us come into our centre and our hips and have a real feeling of being able to drop down an earth. So we're going to stay seated in our seats for a feeling of earthed and having some very clear things to focus on, continual movements that really take up the attention and thus allow ourselves to come down from agitation. So we're going to start in this position where your right leg, if you mirror me as if you were looking at me in a mirror, your right leg is bent inward and your left leg is bent outward. So it's often referred to as Z legs. And then we're going to lean over to the side, lean to your right side and just feel here, have a little move around in the hips, feel where you feel comfortable to be. And then you're going to take your left hand out to the side and place your focus in it. So your attention is in that hand. So that's a drishti, a focus point of meditation which draws us to the present moment. And from there we're going to start to draw the hand down following the movement with your gaze. So you find that you do that, you really stay attentive to that movement. Then your body just organises itself in the way that it's designed. And you can let yourself move from the hips, so it's not just the arm moving in the socket. But really letting your belly turn into the motion. And then feeling how your ribs, your shoulders, your neck, your head all follow a sense of congruence, a really nice soothing circular motion, letting your breath flow, sighing out any time you need, freeing all attention into the shoulders, and we're just going to rest there coming either down onto your hands into a little twist or into your elbows, just to let things go, let your head go entirely. And find somewhere on your elbows that it feels like you're equally weighted through your elbows and your shoulders. If you need to walk a little closer to me, please do. Letting your head hang, letting the weight of the world drop down out of that busy front brain. And then rolling back into centre, turn your legs in the other direction, so you're shifting now so that your left leg is turned in, right leg turned out, and just lean to the side again, so often it's just quite a relief feeling we lean to the side, and letting yourself drop a little again. So you're arriving here, have a little movement through that hip, a little loosening, and then reaching the other arm out, placing your attention there. And then sweeping your arm all the way around. Attention staying on that hand. Letting your breath flow as you move. So noticing any parts of you that feel a bit stuck or a bit rigid within the movement. And just taking your attention there can allow them to feel safe and open. Letting your belly move. Particularly if you're used to doing movements of very precise alignments. Here rather just letting your body decide, rather than your brain decide a specific form. There's a creativity. Lovely, and again we're going to take that round, just come down into a twist, either up if you need, or down lower if you simply have the space, and then just letting your head drop. And then rolling up again, I'm going to come to a seated position now with your feet onto the ground, about hip width apart. 
So you feel nice and grounded through the feet. So I have a little movement there so I can really feel my feet. And then placing your hands behind you. And as we go into this motion, just feel the place for you where your wrists feel happy. And if you need to have your hands on something, holding, that can relieve any pressure that you have into your wrists. So here we're going to do a spine undulation. So helping to marry up the communication between the back of the skull into the lower brain and into the pelvis, into the sacrum. So with the exhale, we're going to let the elbows bend a little so you've got room to drop between your shoulders, draw your head in, so you're really rounding the back. And then we inhale, lifting up the breastbone. So not letting the head drop back, keeping space at the base of the skull, back of the neck. And follow that with your own breath, exhaling in, inhaling up. Lifting the breastbone as you inhale and opening the top of the back as you exhale. So making space in the body and also coming in to protective space. So we open out the heart to the inhale, but then we come back to protecting it with the exhale. So there's the message to the body there that we can open up, can meet vulnerability, but then we come in to a protective place. And we're going to take that into a twist now. So the next time you inhale, letting your knees drop to one side, and then exhale, coming back in to centre, rounding the back again. Inhale, knees come to the other side. So it's quite a strong squeeze under the shoulder blade that you've moved away from with the legs. And that's okay. We're looking for a nice strong squeeze there. You can feel nerves firing off, getting into that area in, under, around the shoulder blades where we feel a lot of concrete, a lot of tension. And again, although that's feeling strong, we relieve it with the exhalation, come to a rounded back and open across the shoulder blades. A lovely few more from side to side. Exhaling right to the end of your out breath. And inhaling to open up. And then just coming to sit. So an upright fetal position, take your arms around your shins and let your head drop. Rising up, we're going to take your feet together. Don't need to bring your feet, soles of the feet fully together. Your heels might come together, but I tend to have them a little apart with this. And it's quite a long length. We're not pulling them into the body, into cobbler pose, into Baddha but a long length. And we're going to come to another spine undulation now. So as we exhale, that same rounding of the back, and now letting your waist drop right back. So it's like you're holding a big ball and dropping your head into it. And then lifting up from the belly and the chest to open up into a little back arch here. And then follow with your own breath. So exhaling, drop back as far as is comfortable for you. And then you feel as you inhale, come forward, that that move is drawn from the belly. Everything is moving around the belly. And feel free to close your eyes and just feel that rocking sensation pelvic tilts. And as it starts to get stronger in the shoulders, just drop them. Exhale to feel space and softness in the shoulders. So encouraging movement through the whole spine that allows us to let go of tensions that we hold deep into the core of our body. Lovely. Last movement here. And then this time you come up, letting yourself curl, fold over your legs, lining your lower arms with your lower legs and letting your head go. So another variation on a fetal position. to stay there longer or lay down into 
Shavasana or even in a fetal position or come to a meditation. It's a very soothing practice in that rocking, in that natural way that the spine undulates with our breath. It really helps to marry up the calming and the more excitatory tone of the nervous system. So it's a very good moving meditation to come to at any time you feel agitation or at the beginning of a stronger, more muscular practice so that you release tensions in tissues rather than taking them into a practice.